In this video, we'll take a quick overview of the various Rigit tools and versions that are available, just to give you some basic familiarity with the tool set and the different options that you have. We'll start at the start and work our way up. First of all, we have the free version of Rigit, which contains the free rigging toolbox and animation toolbox. These are cut down versions of the same tools that exist in the commercial versions and are intended just for general use in animation and rigging tasks. The animation toolbox gives you a whole bunch of tools for quick keying, pose and motion, copying and pasting, as well as various curve tools like Motion Baker and some handy little animation curve filters. And you can use these for any kind of animation that you're doing in Lightwave. The Rigging Toolbox gives a whole bunch of quick access rigging tools for performing manual rigging tasks, as well as a quick Make IK Auto IK Chain Builder. Together, they simplify a great many operations and speed up workflow in many general everyday tasks fantastically. Beyond that, they're free and there's no limitation to them. If you're doing any sort of rigging or animation work in Lightwave, you will find them exceedingly useful. Next up, we have the light version of Rigit, which contains a bodybuilder tool for auto rigging whole characters. It contains four rigging presets, two types of humanoid biped, a digitigrade quadruped and an ungulate quadruped. The tool will build these rigs for you and you can adapt them to fit your own meshes as you see fit, as well as customizing the control layout of the different parts to get the kind of character input control that you're after using. Rigit Lite also comes with complete versions of the animation and rigging toolboxes, giving additional tools for interacting with Rigit built rigs, as well as additional more advanced tools such as some fancier curve filters and additional auto rigging tools on the rigging toolbox. We then have Rigit Pro, which comes with the full version body builder, which gives an increased list of preset rigs that can be used, as well as providing for a custom auto rig builder via modular parts that allows you to build all sorts of complex characters as you may need. The Rigit Pro tool set is also accompanied by the rigging and animation toolbox tools. The rigging toolbox being identical to the version that is in light and the animation toolbox again being identical apart from having the extended option to do motion capture retargeting to rigs. Lastly then we have the studio version which is identical in all respects to the pro version with the exception that you can have an unlimited number of users meaning you can add as many licenses for your studio as you require and it also ships with redistributable tools. The rigs that are created with the body builders, either Light or Pro, are fully native Lightwave rigs. They can be sent to any Lightwave user and they can operate them just fine without issue. Of course, what they will not have access to if they themselves do not own a copy of Rigit are the additional workflow tools that are provided for, for instance, by the animation toolbox. As such, if your studio is using off-site workers or remote animators, whilst it's wonderful to be able to supply them rigs that they can use, it will be much more efficient and productive for them when working for you if they would have access to these tools that can operate with the rigs. As such, studio users have this Make Studio License tool, which allows you to create a specialist redistributable license for your off-site or remote workers, which is of course tied to your own license. And this license will allow them to use the redistributable versions of the animation toolbox, which is complete, as well as a special redistributable version of the body builder. This body builder does not create any rigs, but it does allow your off-site workers to be able to tweak and edit rigs if they should have the need, as well as take the rigs that you have sent them and edit their attributes to create the kind of control setups that they find most helpful for a given shot or section of character animation. Do also notice that the rigs that are built by the Rigit Body Builder are fully compatible across all versions. So this rig here that we originally just built there using the Rigit Lite can be edited in Rigit Pro. Any rigs that you create, if you create fully custom rigs using Rigit Pro or Studio, then those rig templates can be passed to Rigit Lite users who can still edit, rig and fit them as well as use their version of the animation toolbox and so on. So when it comes to passing rigs between users of different versions or to remote or off-site workers who have copies of the redistributable tools, there is no limitation 
in what they can or cannot do with the rigs. They will be able to edit and refit them as allowed for by the tool set that is in the version they have. Of course, as you can notice here, if you do have multiple versions yourself, you're able to run them back to back without any issue. Though, of course, if you are upgrading or changing from one version to the next, there's little reason to continue to use the other one. Light completely supersedes the free version. The pro version completely supersedes light and so on. But if you do start with one version and upgrade to another, the rigs that you previously created will still work in the upgraded version. So there we have it, an overview of the different versions of Rigit, the tools that are available, and how you can move rigs between different versions and users should you have the desire.